I love that this is going to be about Catherine. And let's see how she'll be as the Princess of Wales. If you like the video, I hope you really do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And listen, thank you very, very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I don't mind showing enthusiasm when I really enjoy the subject, and Catherine, I enjoy. So. Yeah, I couldn't be happier to pull the cards uh, for Catherine, and I know she's going to be a terrific Princess of Wales. I'm sure that that, uh, that title will follow, And uh, but we'll just see what the cards say. I'll read them just as they come out, and let's see how Catherine does. Okay, so this is the newest edition. This is uh, the second time I've purchased from this group, uh, and uh, the, these cards are called Revival Art Tarot Second Edition. And uh, they're from Toracho uh, Studios, which you can see right here. And they come to me, I think it's from Russia via the Netherlands. But uh, they're a lot of money, and um, but they're beautiful cards, and you'll see. So they come in a very typical little cardboard box. No big deal there at all. Um, then the um, instruction booklet, again, is not uh, anything to write home about. It's just a typical little instruction booklet. The one good thing is that it is easily uh, read. And uh, in the... Uh, regular uh, in the lower arcana cards they've got an extra card in each uh, suit so you know you've got cups wands swords and uh, I can never think of the fourth suit off the top of my head uh, pentacles uh, but so you, they go all the way to the ten of, of swords for instance the next one then should be a page but here we have a princess of swords and then after the princess of swords you still get the page the knight the queen and the king so you have one extra card for each of those four suits so instead of 78 uh, 79 uh, 80, 81, 82 cards total in the pack. So that's interesting. So if that princess um, confused you, you could just take those four cards out and use them for some special occasion or never use them at all, or put them in there. And uh, this gives you an idea of how to divide the extra card. Uh, so very interesting. Then the cards themselves, they're really good stock. Uh, once you get them broken in, and what I mean by that is, you know, when they come off uh, production, they're really pressed together and there's no air between the cards and you can't hardly get between them. So it takes a little bit of shuffling and, and getting them uh, some air between the cards uh, before they're usable, really, and, uh, and not sticking to each other. And then the view back of them is beautiful. And I haven't discovered anything particularly unusual about the back, um, except maybe until this very minute. Let's see. If you have the cards this way, you'll notice that there's a very small little rose right here. So if you see that small rose here up in the right hand corner, then you know this card is going to be upright as it should. However, if this card was inverted, that small little rose becomes two roses. Okay, so if you see it, two roses up here rather than one, then you know that card is going to be inverted. So that's the example. Now, I like knowing that. I don't know. It just gives you a little edge uh, when you're dealing the cards. And now I can straighten them out and not have to turn it over. I know that this, this is uh, inverted and this is straight. Now, to look at this art is amazing. And each one of these is a work of art that's referenced in the guidebook. For instance, uh, if I look at this uh, Fool, number one, of the Major Arcana, and it tells me that the Fool uh, is, in fact, the name of that piece of art is called A Jester by Philippe Mercier. And, um, and then it gives me the uh, divination for the card, um, beginnings, uh, possibilities, pleasure, etc. The next card, The Magician, if you were to see that one, that is a work of art called The Astronomer by uh, Candlelight, The Astronomer by Candlelight, and it's by, I guess it's going to be Garrett Du. So uh, my foreign pronunciations aren't very good, but I do give it a try. So the cards themselves, you can see they go right to the edge of the card. They're beautiful pieces of art. And Thought has gone into choosing these cards for the um, uh, position they stand for. The one thing uh, that's not uh, evidence, for instance, um, they're not always um, clear that, for instance, a two of pentacles is a two of pentacles. It might not have two pentacles on the card to tell you that. So they're a little um, interesting there. You should kind of look through the cards and understand what each one stands for first. But, I mean, look at them. They are absolutely beautiful. And it always feels to me like uh, intention has gone into making the selections of these actual pieces of art before uh, they uh, turn them into uh, tarot cards. And I like that. And I think you like them, too. 
Okay, Catherine as the Princess of Wales. Catherine as the Princess of Wales. And I'll tell you what's interesting about this deck, like I mentioned just now, is that uh, each of the uh, suits has a princess card that is an extra card, okay, in these suits. It uh, makes this... Let's see what we have here. It makes... Uh, it gives you four extra cards for divination that you can either choose to use, or but they have a very uh, significant uh, interpretations. Um, I before I choose these cards for readings, I study my library and consider uh, what. And in this case, what I did is I considered what cards would I use for these topics that I've covered over these last few days. Wow, and uh, and then just sort of intuitively uh, took some off the shelf, and this is the pack that landed in the position that would be used for Catherine. Okay, so Catherine is Princess of Wales, and it's very interesting that this happens to be the deck that has four extra princess cards. Okay, so, but that princess in this, in, in these suits is less important than the, what would be the page, which is normally the least important of the court cards. So we'll see how this plan, uh, pans out here for, for Catherine as Princess of Wales. Catherine. As Princess of Wales. Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Catherine, Princess of Wales. Let's see what we get for Catherine. Wow, these cards don't want to come apart. Do I have all, all that I'm supposed to have here? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Signifier card for Catherine as Princess of Wales. The signifier card in this case is the Ace of Coins. You know, coins are of value, and this Ace of Coins has is showing if this is a great big offer of value. Okay, um, this uh, uh, Ace is very important, and it's interesting that she's followed, uh, surrounded by these three little cherubs. I wonder if that could be her, her children. So this is Catherine. She is in full charge and full knowledge. And, and of her worth. The um, challenge to that is judgment. Of course it is. Judgment is, um, in this case, I would say is actually, you know, judgment of her performance. This is what's going to show us uh, how she's going to um, 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 present herself or carry herself throughout this uh, lifetime situation. <coughs> so Catherine, as Princess, Princess of Wales, is challenged by the judgment that she knows, the scrutiny that she'll be under. The uh, base of this reading for Catherine as Princess of Wales, look at this. I get this card so often for her. This is a two of, of coins, and uh, coins are of value. And for me, this is Catherine carrying water for the monarchy. I always see her as dutifully, steadfastly, firmly, willingly carrying water for the monarchy. Okay? In the past of this reading is the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Again, I feel like this is Catherine really in charge of her truth and justice, or judgment, rather. And the sky of this reading is the Two of Cups partnerships, okay? And so this represents to me the finding the, uh, the pair, the uh, other part of what you need to make this situation the best that it can be. This maiden has crowned herself with this uh, wreath, okay? And she's uh, looking down at her assistant very knowingly, okay, and and she's she's a person who has earned the admiration of this person. Look, the, her arm is wrapped around her future queen, I would say. So yeah, this is uh, Catherine, also. Okay, the likely outcome of the first part of this then is the Princess of Coins. So this is one of those cards that I mentioned to you. <coughs> She started out as this ace of coins, so a great big offer of value, and she ends up as the princess of coins, okay? Understanding her royal value, okay? A young, inexperienced, uh, lovely princess of her own value. The self of that question, Catherine as Princess of Wales, is the three of wands. You know, three of wands are long-term planning, and that's exactly the position that her that she uh, will be in. There's a long-term plan that she needs to be aware of, and she needs to humbly take that journey forward, okay? 
So she needs to make sure that she has uh, her, her, her seat is firm and she knows how to uh, go forth on that journey. She has in her hand this rosary, okay, and, um, and a weary um, mule here to carry her forward. So this, this uh, figure is balanced, well balanced in her seat and prepared for this arduous journey. That's the self of the question. The challenge, uh, the environment that that's in then is the star. Okay. So yeah, the fact will be that um, this couple may even outshine the monarchs at the time. So she and this star is, although you know we see her beauty, she seems very humble, very uh, shy, very demure in her in her um, in her presence. Okay. She's ready to to let this this covering flow around her. And cover her up, but she's fully aware of her star power. The hopes and the fears of this come to us with this eight of coins. So the eight of coins is really getting your art practiced. Okay, a studious, uh, wizened um, person here who's making sure that they're they're getting their their job done with caution and with attention, okay? So that's the hopes that she has and the fear that she doesn't. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing for Catherine as Princess of Wales with this nine of coins, and the nine of coins is just an, a, you know, an abundance of wealth. So it looks like she's gonna come out of this with just all the strength that she needs to uh, prepare her for that next step when the time is right. I love that for Catherine. One of my favorite royals. Man, I really love it when my intuition seems to be right. I mean, the cards just fell beautifully for Catherine. I hope you all agree. Love her. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.